just like the uniqueness of neutral elements or identity elements occur in multiplication as well as addition the same way there is uniqueness of inverses so the inverse of a let me put it in two parts the inverse of a the inverse of any number a with respect to addition is unique okay and the inverse the inverse of a here a should not equal to 0 because the inverse will be some something like 1 by a so it should not be equal to 0 with respect to multiplication of course multiplication is unique okay now why is that so we will prove it so let me just prove the first part first so to prove that for any a okay uh, you have a prime which is the inverse of a and that has to be unique so what we will do we will again by contradiction by contradiction say that okay let me just put it in brackets say that there are two inverses of a okay say a prime and a double prime okay so if there are two inverses of a what does that mean so we need to prove that a plus a prime equals to 0 and a plus a double prime equals to 0 should actually imply that a prime equals to a double prime that's what we have to prove okay that's what we have to prove to prove uniqueness to prove uniqueness that's what we have to prove to, in order to prove the uniqueness okay so what do we have so we start with the a prime okay now a prime can be written as a double prime plus a plus a prime why why am i so, saying so i'm saying that because a prime is the inverse so this a double prime is the inverse so a double prime plus a will equal to zero so what am i assuming here i'm assuming a double prime is inverse and a prime is any number okay so that's what i'm that's just my assumption here okay anyways both the numbers are inverses right both the numbers are inverses but that's what i'm assuming for the time being and if i do the other way around if i look at a double prime what I can do I can write that as a a prime plus a plus a double prime so that this part is 0 okay okay now what does this mean what does this mean now what is happening here what is happening here this is also 0 this is also 0 this is also 0 this is also 0 so that means that this equals to they equal to each other so this implies that a prime will equal to a double prime okay a prime will equal to a double prime for the simple reason since this part is also 0 so I can either look at it from this point of view or this point of view. I can look at it that this portion is 0 simply because 
a prime is also so i just add here but a prime is also an inverse so that means this portion will have to be equal to 0 and if that is so a prime will equal to a double prime you can start off from here or here it will give you the same result okay so that's for addition now what for multiplication what do we do for multiplication so we will be looking at an inverse we'll be looking at uh, two inverse again now what do i have to prove let me put it here what do i have to prove i have to prove that a dot a prime equals to 1 the neutral element and a dot a double prime equals to 1 if they both are the inverses then they have to be equal to each other a should a prime should be equal to a double prime that is what is our target so that's what is our target okay that's what we have to prove so how to go about it again i can start off with a prime as a number i start off with a prime a prime will equal to actually a double prime dot a dot a prime now if i look at it from this point of view what do i get now a prime is in itself an inverse so that means that this portion should equal to 1 okay and that would mean that this equals to a double prime so a prime will equal to a double prime you can start with a double prime also a double prime will equal to a prime dot a dot a double prime now this portion will equal to 1 so this will equal to a prime so both the ways indeed you will get the same result so lastly what i want the point that i want to make is that the unique inverse of addition is quoted as unique inverse of addition is quoted as minus a and of multiplication is quoted as 1 by a and that is because a plus minus a will always give you zero the neutral element in addition and a multiplied by 1 upon a will give you identity element of multiplication.